This room is, uh, it's an interesting one because it constitutes the work that was done that was really around restoration and um, reconstitution. We call the room the Johnson Publishing Archive Room. But in some ways, it's like the room of rescue, where I was given an opportunity to give a home to these objects that were part of, of Johnson Publishing and their building. The furniture of the space kind of demonstrated both a commitment to the amazing design of that time, but also the, the role that like a kind of black aesthetic played in, in reflecting on what furniture should look like in a high-end, black-owned company. This room is the Anna J. and Edward Williams collection. It's filled with reasonably complicated images, um, objects, caricature from the last eight decades of you know, what I would consider bad parts of the American imagination. But when, when you think about the truth of these derogatory images and how they were working to create trauma for the black imagination, that, that you then had John Johnson, who started Johnson Publishing, and through um, Ebony and Jet, Tan, Negro Digest, Black World, that in a way, John Johnson was working against these stereotypical derogatory images. So these two rooms are almost like bookends of the American imagination. One imagination working to subjugate people through the creation of really negative images, and another trying to uplift people through the creation of edifying images of the black experience. And that those things together held in tension starts to show a kind of truth of how people feel about one another. I hope one day these objects disintegrate both physically and emotionally, that instead we would have this, this truth of equity, uh, this truth of dignity. Uh, I think we have a long way to go. <laughs>